This is KCAU 9 News. Hi, welcome back. All right, well, I'm here with Adam Dean. He's the board chair for the American Red Cross. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. I'm very excited to be talking about what we are talking about, and that's the heroes in the heartlands, heroes of the heartland. And that honors individuals who have made a difference in someone else's life. So the entire program is, is kind of put on you by you guys. Who, uh, who helps facilitate the program? Well, the program is facilitated, obviously, by the Red Cross, but mm -hmm. it really is driven by those individuals that um, are submitting nominations uh, to, so that we can recognize those people in the community who are doing uh, wonderful things, going above and beyond, you could say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so Heroes of the Heartland does a very good job honoring members in our community. You honor the ordinary people who do the extraordinary. But when finding nominations, what are some of the things that you are looking for uh, in, in candidates? Uh, really, they we're looking for individuals who are showing courage or compassion or just kind of outright standing out in, in what they're doing. Uh, it could be individuals, obviously, that do life-saving um, opportunities from police officers to firefighters to or to individuals who are extremely helping their communities with juveniles, uh, whatever it is that they're trying to do. Um, we've represented or recognized many individuals uh, across the state that have uh, represented different parts of what their communities offer. Yeah, and all these people have done such amazing things for our community. So what is the drive behind this this program? What is the drive between between Harris and Harland? Well, it's just an opportunity for us to kind of really recognize those those individuals because most of the time they don't get recognized. You know, they do their job, which is to save lives on a daily basis or is to uh, represent what they're doing with inside the community. And, and they're just not recognized when they're actually doing life changing uh, things for those individuals. It's oh, amazing. And nominations are still open, actually. We uh, have a link on our website, and that's under the community tab. Nominations close January 27th. Correct. All right. All right. So you do still have that opportunity to nominate somebody who has done something extraordinary. And we thank you so much for being here, talking Absolutely. about this, and also honoring people in our community. Absolutely. Bringing thank you attention for the to that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much.